there is a cancer eating away at the moral fabric of the church. Dark, sinister, and almost imperceptible, it stealthily seeks a victim, and once found, sets its sights to artfully devour and cunningly destroy. While this may seem unfathomable to you, it is indeed a fact, and in reality, our story. There was a situation that took place that caused me to really question some of the abuse that had taken place in my past and the lack of healing that I had had. It prompted a discussion between me and my husband about whether I should try to see a counselor or what I should do to work through these issues. We decided that I would go and counsel with the pastor. I went on the computer and as I went on the computer, I eventually through some diligent searching found some information there that led me to a website that had an email account. And when I was able to log into that account, I found a lot of email correspondence going on between the pastor and my wife. And I realized that he had been abusing her and that, of course, she had been unfaithful. During the time the pastor was abusing me, I was very, very suicidal. In fact, almost every time I was left alone, I was doing something to injure myself or to try to kill myself. My husband couldn't be gone for very long at all without coming back to find me unconscious or in the middle of a suicide process. He said God spoke to him and told him that didn't want him to destroy his ministry, that he would give grace to Steve and Samantha and that he needed to stay. What were we to think? God told the pastor not to leave even though he did a horrible thing. And we were basically to allow him to continue on and not to interfere. That kind of abuse is not easily overlooked or dealt with or understood. It's a spiritual abuse of the most horrendous kind and 